in order to control the activity we will divide into number of department number of unit each unit is called a department to ascertain the trading result of each department we find out the gross profit or gross loss of each department discount received on purchases discount allowed on sale this is internal transfer from b department to a department to worth of rupees 15000 Hello my dear students I am Dr B S Subramanian called by name Dr B S S professor in commerce and management Vidyashram First Aid College a temple of excellence my suru today in this session I am going to hand financial accounting to second semester unit 2 session 1 in favor of departmental accounts so in the public examination they will ask question one from branch account which contain two part one for 15 marks one for 10 marks so 15 marks includes the what's called invoice premises profit cost plus profit whereas another 10 marks does not include the invoice premise regarding the departmental accounts no it will ask only for 10 marks so what is actually department account under the one rule it has been divided into number of section department a department b department c so you have been divided the entire organization into number of department so that is easy to work so work has been shifted to number of department they will look after the department a department b and department c so so the entire organization has been divided into some parts that part we call as a department introduction see that in a generally a business house will grow larger in size year after year it may expand the scope of operation by diversifying its product diversifying its products and services this requires a business unit to divide its operation into different department that is most important the entire organization will be divided into different department to ensure the effective administration this will help a business unit to exercise efficient control over the in order to control the activity we will divide into number of department number of unit each unit is called a department thus the system of accounting that is followed each department and the result known as departmental account they want to find out the result of the each department that is called departmental accounting we say we'll move on what are the objectives of departmental account to ascertain the trading result of each department to find out the gross profit or gross loss of each department to compare the trading result of one department with another department whether there is a improvement or not improvement if there is no improvement so what are the steps to be taken if you already got the profit why the profit has come down you we'll also calculate to reward departmental managers on the basis of result contributed by them to the bill so if we have to encourage by rewarding the manager when you compare to last year the result of the gross profit has been increased from 1 lakh to 1 lakh 50000 some reward should be awarded to the manager to encourage them this is department manager to compare current year result with the result of the previous year the profit of the last year should be compared with the current year and find out what are the loopholes are there why the profit has come down why there is a loss if there is a more profit why how you get this more profit all we have to calculate and make the proper policy proper policies is expanded so that is necessary so that here one department with compare with the another department the gross profit is last year will compare the profit of this year and if there is a good improvement in the department again there was called the managers have been rewarded to encourage them and make the proper policies then what do you mean by inter department transfer inter department transaction this will last for two months another department from see that goods transferred 
from one department to another department of same organization. So there are three departments, A, B, C. It is by chance one department wants goods, one department wants to transfer, internal transfer in the same organization. Assume that it transfers from A department to department, credit the A department, debit the B department. It has been transferred from B department to A department, credit the B department, debit the A department. I will repeat. The goods has been transferred from A department to B department, credit the A department, debit the B department. Transfer from B to A, credit the B department, debit the A department. This one internal transfer of goods. Move on. So, when the expenses are given, it should be allocated with a good base. These are all the basis of expenses. We'll move on. Carriage inward on purchases, carriage outward on sales, discount received on purchases, discount allowed on sale, rent based on area, power based on horsepower, canteen expenses number of employee, bad debt based on sale, insurance on the stock value, depreciation on the asset value, Advertisement based on sale, workman compensation based on wages, insurance of number of workers. This should be, see that, discount received always on purchases, discount allowed always on sales. Uh, we'll move on to problem. This is a problem given. Opening stock 9,000, 12,000, purchases a department 70,000, 80,000, sales 90,000, 1,20,000, wages 4,500. So these are all the expenses they have given, general salaries, rent and taxes. Now this should be allocated, they will give the adjustment. See that general salary are to be allocated equally. What's your general salary? 12,000. Equally means 6,100, 6,100. Rent based on area. They are in the ratio of 2 is to 1. 2 by 3, 1 by 3 rent. What's the value of the rent? 6,000. 2 by 3 is nothing but 2, 3 is 4,000, 2,000. Then here, carry age inward on purchases, outward on sale, discount allowed and discount earned. We'll move on to problem now. So here, goods transfer department B to A department worth to be 50,000. Closing stock of A was 20,000, B was 15,000. Start. Opening stock 9,000, 12,000. Purchases 70,000, 80,000. Wages 7,000, 8,000. Sales 90,000, 1,20,000. Closing stock 20,000. This is internal transfer from B department to A department. Credit the B department. Debit the A department. This is internal transfer from B department to A department to worth of rupees 15,000. Credit to B department. This is credit to B department. Debit to A department. So you'll find out the result. The result is your gross profit is 4,500, 43,700 of the trading result. Now it will be transferred to profit and loss account. By trading account, 4,500, 43,700. Discount earned on purchases. Discount earned on purchases. Your purchase is 70,000, 80,000. If you cancel the zero, they are in the ratio of 7 is to 8. So 7 by 15 of that amount here, your discount earned is 1,500. So it is 7 by 15 of 1,000 is 700. Another is 800. Come back here. Salaries are equally distributed. Is 12,200. Equally means 6,100, 6,100. Rent based on area. That is 2 is to 1. 2 by 3 of 6,000 is 4,000. Another is 2,000. Carriage outward on sale. It is 90,000. 3 3s are 3 4s are. They are in the ratio of 3 is to 4. What is your carriage outward is there? Your carriage outward is 2,800. So they are 3 by 7 means 1,200. 
thousand. If you distribute in the ratio of three by seven and four by seven, they have got thousand two hundred, thousand six hundred. Discount allowed is thousand four hundred. It is ratio is discount allowed ratio is three to one. Three by seven is six hundred, eight hundred. Advertisement based on sale four thousand two hundred. Once again, they are in the ratio of three to four. Three to three by seven is thousand eight hundred, two thousand four hundred. Whatever the discount earned is thousand five hundred. That based on purchases, that is zero cancelled out. They are in the ratio. If you write now seventy thousand. They are in the ratio of seven is to eight. This amount, so one will get seven hundred, another get eight hundred rupees is there. Hope you understand. Salary equally distributed, rent based on the area, carriage outward outward based on the sale, discount allowed based on the sale, advertisement on the sale, discount earned on the purchases. So on the purchase means seventy thousand, eighty thousand, ninety thousand one lakh means they are in the ratio of three to four. We go with the sales. Sales. Your sale is ninety thousand. Is to one lakh twenty thousand. If you cancel the zero, divided by three. Three threes are nine. Three fours are twelve. So they are in the ratio of three to four. On this ratio, you have to divide. So one will get how much? Thousand two hundred, another thousand six hundred. Discount allowed in the ratio of three is to four. Thousand eight hundred, two thousand four hundred. So if we make the total, debit side of A department is thirteen thousand seven hundred. So there is a difference of eight thousand five hundred. This is the last regarding the B department. Your credit side is forty four thousand five hundred. There is a profit of thirty one thousand six hundred. So regarding this, so if we fail, no, we can have the working note unless not necessary. We can work out with the calculator. So they are in the ratio of two is to one, two by three, one by three. This is based on. I already show you sales ninety thousand, one lakh twenty thousand. They are in the ratio of three is to four. This is on seven point eight. This is three is to four. You take the calculator and divide carry age inward on per here. On purchases, seven is to eight. So, so totally fifteen thousand. That will be divided seven thousand, eight thousand. General salary equally twelve thousand two hundred divided by six thousand one thousand. Rent and taxes is six thousand two is to one two by three is four thousand one by three is two thousand. Carriage outward says nothing but two thousand eight hundred. Three by seven is thousand two hundred. Four by seven is thousand six hundred. Divide. Take the calculator and divide in the ratio of three to four, three thousand four hundred discount allowed six hundred. Then advertisement is nothing but four thousand two hundred divide in the ratio of three is to four. Come back here, discount earned is thousand five hundred based on the purchases seven is to eight. So the difference will work out eight thousand five hundred, which is a loss. Here this is a profit. Profit earned by the B department is thirty one six hundred. Profit earned suffered by the A department suffer the loss. B department suffer the profit. Yeah, earn the profit, they suffer the loss. Hope this ratio you understand. First, you must have a good base. That good base is based on the based on this. Like is in you follow this base inward on purchases, outward on sales. You learn this now. This become easy for you. Then. Easily you can go with the ratios. You take the calculator and find out the ratios here. Three to one, three to four. Divide. This is the division of each department and find out the values. Here the value is thirty one thousand six hundred. So the manager of the B department will be rewarded. But regarding the A department, the manager has to see that why there is a suffer a loss. What is the reason? They have to find out. Easy, you know. This is for ten marks question. I think you understand all these ratios based on purchases, 
This is equally the hagen based on area, carriage, outward, based on the sale, discount allowed on sale, advertisement on sale, here discount earned on the purchases. Hope you understand. 10 mass question, very easy question they are, but you have to take the ratio. I have given the basis for the allocation. Carriage inward on purchases, carriage outward on sale, bad debts on sales, then depreciation on asset value, insurance on stock, stock value. You learn the base and allocate the entire expenditure into A department and B department. Take the ratio and hope. Hope you understand this session is a definitely easy question will be asked for 10 marks. Hope you understand. We'll have some more in the next session. We'll have some more question on the department for 10 marks. And one problem I'm going to solve trading and profit and loss account and a balance sheet of A department being. Till then, goodbye. Meet in the next session with another problem. Till then, goodbye.